Hello and welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to have our first real modification. Today we are making a Victorinox Yeoman. So what is a Yeoman? A Yeoman is a long discontinued Victorinox model. It is considered a somewhat a holy, holy grail model among uh, Victorinox enthusiasts. It addresses, addresses the problem with the Compact and Explorer. A Compact is a very nice EDC, urban EDC model because it is only two layers, uh, two layers wide, but it lacks a good Phillips driver. It has this uh, combo tool that is a can opener and bottle opener. It is a uh, flat screwdriver and this corner is somewhat good with Phillips screws but you have to do it like this so it's not very practical. So it needs a good uh, Phillips screwdriver. And this here is an Explorer. Explorer is another good uh, urban EDC model but it is it is four layers wide it addresses the compact problem by having a dedicated Phillips screwdriver and it also has a can opener with ha that has a 2d Phillips screwdriver on it so uh, it basically basically has a redundant screwdriver so a yeoman is a model let's say if the, if an explorer and a compact have a baby the yeoman is their baby so this would be our yeoman it has three layers a blade layer with a combo and a flathead screwdriver scissors and a dedicated 3D Phillips and this uh, magnifying lens just tags along because, because it shares a spring with the screwdriver. So what we are going to do is we are going to completely take apart this explorer, remove the scales, remove the pins and remove the liners and we are going to completely remove this opener layer and then we will be left with our three <coughs> layers and then we need to take out this small blade and put the combo tool instead of the small blade but we are going to make what I call a poor man's yeoman because the compact is the only 91 millimeter model that has a combo tool but the, a compact is a very expensive model and my compact I love I like it I uh, wear it I carry it a lot and it has a sentimental value so what we will attempt to do we will going to take this uh, Victorinox waiter that is 84 millimeters model and it also has a combo tool. We are going to take this combo tool, but we will need to modify it because 84 millimeter models have pins of 2.2 millimeter diam in diameter and 91 have pins in the diameter of 2.5 millimeters. So we will need to take out this combo tool and basically widen the hole for the pin. So wish me luck with that. And I think it will work because these two combo tools are very, very similar, if not identical. So we will see how that goes. And because the yeoman, like a compact, has a blade layer 
on the bottom, a scissor layer in the middle, and a, a Philips model on the right or on the top, I will going to switch the places of screwdriver and scissors. So we will have a blade, then the screwdriver, and then the scissors, because I want the screwdriver to be in the middle, in the middle layer, because I think it is the most logical. Just used a drill bit that is a little bit thinner than the pin itself and just uh, drill uh, maybe a millimeter into the pin just to release it from the bushing. Do this just on the one side of the knife. And then with the Dremel just uh, release this uh, middle pin that doesn't have a bushing and use a Dremel to tidy everything up and your knife will be ready for disassembly. And now we have drilled out the pins, all four of them, and this is the bushing. These, these rings are, are, are called bushings. Don't lose them and don't damage them. We will need them um, later. And you just find some kind of a hole and uh, some kind of a metal plate and basically just find some some kind of a nail or something and just take out punch out those uh, those pins and here's the bushing don't use it uh, don't lose it we will use it later and basically do that for rest of the pins Rem remember that this middle pin does not have a bushing so we, I have punched out the the pins and here are our three bushings again do not you lose them we will need them when we will assemble the knife. Sorry about my bad English. And now we can take out the layer, the liners and remember how it was assembled or you even better take a picture of it. Now is the good time to clean the liners and polish them because I have damage them a little but never mind I will polish them later first this needs a thorough cleaning and here are our tools just this layer we will not need so these are all spare um, spare parts for uh, maybe another project and just take your knife apart and then we, I will clean it. Since we are going from four layers to three layers, maybe, just maybe, we can reuse these pins since we are going one layer less. Okay, so we have a spare back spring for the opener layer and the all, and this back spring has a key ring attachment. So I will try to use the key ring from the waiter since the key ring is on this waiter of on this washer from the combo tool. But I don't know will it fit or not. I will try to use it, but if it doesn't fit into a larger knife, this yeoman will just not have a keyring. Okay? Nothing special. 
and slowly uh, pry your liners and tools apart. Do not use any excessive force. Remember, if you are using excessive force, you are doing something wrong. So just be patient and take your knife apart. So here we are. The Explorer is disassembled. Look at this filth. I can't wait to clean this. This is gonna be fun. I am not going to record this cleaning because I cleaned in these knives in every episode. I will do it off camera. And remember, we will swap those two layers. The uh, uh, screwdriver will be in the middle and the scissors will be uh, on the outside and now we have to take apart this waiter and remove the small blade and put the combo tool, tool here i don't know if we will use this washer for the combo tool or from the weight that will be decided on the on the fly <laughs> So, our waiter was disassembled and <clears throat> these are the two things that we are going to need and so so it will be like this these are also from the waiter uh, some people call these rings bushings, some people call them grambits. I have no idea how to call them. So I'm going to call them bushings. I don't know. Uh, and don't lose them. You can use them in another project. But these pins, since the waiter is only one layer thick, um, you cannot go lower than one layer, thinner than one layer. So I'm afraid these pins are useless now but I don't know and sorry I have made a teeny tiny mistake this liner should be exchanged for this liner because what you want is your first liner and last liner to be the same size as the scales so when the scale fits it supports the whole scale and now it's the time to widen the holes on this washer and the combo tool uh, this 2.5 millimeter drill bit for drilling metal had no problem with the brass uh, washer but this hardened steel on the combo tool was a big problem uh, this drill bit at the end was completely destroyed but it cost only 1.5 euros so at the end I didn't care just go slow and use some oil for lubrication and cooling uh, soon you will see some smoke and some maybe some sparks uh, I don't know just little by little the drill bit will be destroyed but in the end you will have a 2.5 millimeter hole so there is some smoke and this whole project depended on this to be successful because this combo tool would be completely useless if the hole wasn't wide enough unfortunately i couldn't find any uh, specialized drill bits for drilling hardened steel but this one did his job so may it rest in peace mm -hmm. now i will show you a complete assembly process because this is the first video that i'm recording this a lot of youtube channels skip this part or time lapse it but i will show you every step it is a little bit complicated especially this first layer i mean it's not that complicated but 
maybe just you feel like you need six hands to do it because you assemble one part and then the second falls out and then you repair the second part and then the first one is out and you are starting to lose your mind you are basically going in circles the nice hint is to put the second liner before assembling all the tools and basically assemble the knife and the corkscrew and then use some kind of a screwdriver to pry the spring pry it between the spring and the pin and ju just use that screwdriver to pry the spring upwards and just jam the combo tool <laughs> under it uh, you will see this process better on the scissor layer because now the liner is in the way just be gentle do not use any excessive force again remember if you are using excessive force you are doing something wrong it is fascinating to me how everything is flimsy everything feels like it's going to fall apart until everything finds its place and then all of a sudden everything is so rigid and snappy and and, and sturdy it, it it happens in a second and i don't know it's kind of a fascinating thing for me <laughs> i'm sorry i'm kind of weird <laughs> And now our first uh, layer is completed. In my opinion, this first layer is the hardest part. So we are out of the woods now. And now it's time for a uh, Phillips screwdriver and a magnifying lens. I have made a tiny mistake here. I will point this out. Uh, first, I should have uh, fit this spring onto the magnifying lens and fidget with it on the screwdriver side but you see i'm fidgeting around this plastic uh, magnifying housing and i was lucky not to break it so i i did it uh, maybe a little bit backwards but everything turned out fine and the second layer, layer is done just uh, put the second third liner in and second layer is completed there will be another mistake here uh, i will also point that out look at this i don't know what was i thinking I almost stabbed myself in the finger but that is a I don't know some kind of a stage fright or camera fright so yeah a lot of tiny mistakes but every time you make a mistake you'll learn something maybe it looks like I'm doing this without a problem but soon my battery will die and that tells you how many tr times I tried this so just take your time be patient and 20 to 30 uh, tries later you will do it without any any fuss so this is where my battery died and now you will see how to use that um, lever trick just first put the scissors and the hook and then put the hook into the spring and with your hands and then just jam the screwdriver behind the pin and the spring and pry it up and at the same time push it behind the scissors and don't stab yourself in the finger and it is a little bit complicated this spring has so much tension it is so strong that it you need a little bit force but don't 
don't hurt yourself. And there it is. When it catches, just put push everything together and leave it alone. And that's the trick. Time for the last liner and our knife is assembled. Put on your uh, bushings or grambits, however you want to call them. And then we will file off the excess pins. If you have longer pins, use a Dremel or a hexa, but I have just filed them down. At the end, I have filed a little bit more than this. This is a little bit too much. And then just, just pin it shut. And at the end, no pins uh, should stick above the bushings. So that's how you do it. Just pin everything shut. And it's time for a final assembly. Assembly. Just uh, put on your scales and your scale tools, and your knife is ready for the money shot. And here we are, our yeoman is complete. Guys, I don't know what to say, I am so goddamn proud, I don't want to sound like an idiot, but I am so proud I did it. This was my first real modification that included the swapping of tools, slight tool modifications, and also rearranging the tool posi positions. So let's see what we have done. First of all, these are brand new scales, brand new plus scales, and uh, brand new scale tools. Uh, this knife was used, so occasionally there are some little scratches and marks, but this is going to be my daily workhorse for sure, so I don't mind that, okay? This will not be a shelf queen. So, first of all, this is not the original pin. I just like these pins with little heads. You just have a little bit more control. Let's see this snap. Yes! All of these tools snap like from the factory. I'm so proud of that. Look at this. Yes, nice snap. At the front, first layer scissors. They are not central, centered like on the original Yeoman, but absolutely no problem. Nail nick is accessible. None of the tools collide. Nice. This magnifying glass, it has a slight ding because it was used, but never mind. It also snaps nice. And look at this bad boy. Perfectly centered. And I think it just makes uh, more, more sense for the Phillips to be in the center. Nice half stop and listen to this snap. Nice, just like the factory. The blade, it was slightly used, it has some scratches, no dings, just a little, just little scratches, but it is sharp and sharp and ready to use. Let's look at the snap. Nice. 
And last but not least, our 84 millimeter combo tool. I'm so proud of this. So yeah, I mean, just don't buy a compact if you want a combo tool. A waiter or a bantam is perfect. Look at this, no blade, blade play at all. Nice half stop. Excellent snap. The nail nix is completely accessible. From now on, if I want a combo tool, just go with the 84 millimeter models. Absolutely fantastic tool. Unfortunately, it is officially discontinued. But in my opinion, that's a, that's a big shame, but I completely understand why it is discontinued. In my opinion, if priced right, this is a climber killer, this is a super tinker killer, this is explorer killer, and possibly even the compact killer. But that is, that is a little bit tricky because people value the thinness of the compact. But in my opinion, with this Phillips screwdriver, this is a compact with some extra great functionality and not a lot more thickness and bulk. So thank you, my friends, for watching. And I don't know, I'm just going to play with this now. <laughs> I'm going to carry it. And I will see you in the next episode. See ya!